Well, continuing on from my video yesterday about the old climate change con job being pushed by Doris and his ministers, we should talk about the cost once again. It's something that the public are bringing up in media comment sections, so it's definitely worth doing a video on. And as we know, it's also something the government and media hide from the general public whenever they can. Most of us have always known this agenda is going to cost us trillions, despite the UK contributing just 1% to global emissions. The media will often talk about increased costs to the consumer from these policy plans, but rarely ever talks about the fact you will be paying for it twice at least. You will pay with increased prices passed down to the consumer that they often mention, but before and during that, your tax money will fund this lunacy in literally every way, much like it already has been for years. All the subsidies out there now and in the future come from taxpayer funds, as many of my viewers already know, simply because they're smarter than the average Joe mincing about this country like a complete drone. But hopefully some people who didn't know this see this video and other things that are clearly in their face and actually wake up. Who knows they might wake up in relation to other things they've been sleepwalking into recently. Obviously we can only hope. What I mean is many people don't know the research into it is being paid for by the taxpayers. Private businesses ain't taking that hit let me tell you. R&D is not cheap and doesn't pay back until production starts, so governments doing that shit is obviously best for business. Most of the public think paying for any of this is a long way off, when obviously it's really not. But actually thinking about it now, we will all be paying for a third time in the future. That payment is obviously going to be through blackouts and restrictions on power uses, travel and much more when these green con job schemes don't produce the power that we need. This should obviously never be forgotten because it's coming in the not too distant future at this rate. In fact, the only way it won't is changing all coal and gas power generation to nuclear before their plans actually start. Nuclear is clearly the most reliable form of power generation and in this day and age is perfectly safe. Wind and solar energy are unreliable at best as we all know and is even often reported by the media itself. Clearly if all this was about lowering emissions nuclear power would have been used on a massive scale already with literally no fucks given. But like I said, why even bother when 1% of global emissions is literally fuck all and is gonna change nothing at the end of the day? Obviously, to the powers that be, they don't care because it's a complete con job with the aim of milking taxpayers around the world for the most that they possibly can. This number currently stands at around £3 trillion for the UK by 2050, which is a massive underestimate if you ask me. As with all government programs, they run late and cost 3 to 10 times more than they actually plan to, so try 9 to 30 trillion pound total cost or maybe more. And remember, that is trillions, not billions either, the sums are fucking eye-watering, let me tell you. The last two years though have seen us borrow 2 trillion pounds already, so if you think this won't be in the tens of trillions, you must be smoking crack like Boris and these eco-loons seem to be. As I've said before, our children's grandchildren will be paying for this bullshit while China builds new coal power plants literally every year. Thankfully though, more people are starting to notice this con job for what it is. We just need millions more here to do the same and around the world. 